Let's turn now to your first alert forecast live over Bellingham. Wow, picturesque. It's just a beautiful summer day to close out the last few days or week or so of summer. Yeah. I am counting down to Beyonce. I don't necessarily have a countdown to the end of summer <laughs> because I don't want it to be over. Nine more days. <laughs> okay. There's your answer right there. And uh, speaking of Beyonce forecast for tomorrow night, it's going to cool down a little bit into the evening. I think it's going to be perfect for all of you who are going to be out there cheering all that hot breath coming from all the fans, right? It's going to warm things up a little bit, even with that slight chill in the air. It's going to be fun, but temperatures today, mid seventies, we're starting to to see that warm up again here heading into the weekend 75 in Renton 77 in Shelton. We're going to get near the 80 degree mark tomorrow in some spots and more spots to come for your Friday and Saturday skies right now. You can see La Push. We're fairly clear here. A few of those clouds off into the distance and it's up here around the north coast that we could see some of that marine layer come in. So early tomorrow morning, maybe a few clouds patchy areas of fog, then that starts to burn off quickly. And we're back to this right here, which we're seeing here into the evening. Sunny skies, temperatures in the low 70s, north winds coming in at 12 miles per hour. Current number sitting at 72 in Bremerton. We topped off at 74 in Seattle. We're at 72 now, 71 in Bellingham, sitting in the mid 60s in Port Angeles and in Hoquiam. All right, radar picture. It's quiet. Nothing a whole lot really to talk about again into the night early tomorrow. Here we are at four o'clock tomorrow morning. North coast right there and really more the tip of the Olympic Peninsula through the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Some patchy clouds and some areas of fog here to start off early tomorrow morning, as well as up here around parts of the northeastern uh, locations. Discovery Bay may be seeing some areas of light fog there as well as Camino and Whidbey Island. Going to burn that all quickly tomorrow afternoon, three o'clock. So, so much sunshine with a lot more of that clear skies to come tomorrow night and into the day on Friday as well. So speaking of what's happening here, well, we have this area of high pressure and uh, well, what we saw here back in the months of June, July, even August, when whenever we would have one of these start to build across the West, we would be talking about hotter temperatures for sure. You would see some darker oranges, some red showing up, but since we're here now on into the middle part, of September is just more of a warm up here. That's it with temperatures getting up near the 80 degree mark, which we're going to see a lot more of Friday and Saturday tomorrow, warming up quite a bit too with highs right around those mid 70s, cooling back down into the start of next week. Sunday, Monday, we'll have a weak system start to roll on in. That will bring in some additional cloud coverage, especially by Sunday night and maybe even some rain chances here heading on into Monday as temperatures start to fall back down into the 60s, which we'll see quite a bit of here as we head on into the start of next work week. As far as tonight's lows, uh, 40s around 47 in Oklahoma. Harbor down to 49 in Bremerton, kind of chilly around Shelton and in Olympia down into the mid 40s, 48 in Puyallup and right around 52 degrees in Renton, 48 in Bellingham. Then you have the forecast tomorrow. That's where we start to see some of those highs in the low 70s in Anacortes, mid 70s in Mount Vernon, some 60s around Fort Townsend, Oak Harbor, around Port Angeles. We're talking about 73 and some numbers even up there around Linden getting really close to the 80 degree mark tomorrow. And we'll say the same across areas more of east side here for Bellevue, Redmond, Issaquah, North Bend even getting up to 70. Uh, mid 70s around Seattle, mid 70s up there closer to Paul's Bowl and at Kingston. Highs from all across South Sound, mid to upper 70s, a few low 80s around Auburn and in Olympia and Yelm. 70 forecast. Uh, we'll see the 70s here at least through Sunday. More sunshine to come over the next three days. Some additional clouds late into the day on Sunday. Light showers coming through on Monday.